Hello friends, I hope you're safe and well wherever you are. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix some of the problems that you might experience because of a recent update to Visual Studio Code. You remember in a previous video, I showed you how you can use this text editor to create gift questions easily. So there are some changes and if you don't know how to navigate around them, it can be a bit challenging. So this video will help you with that hopefully. So I'll start by creating a new file using the keyboard shortcut Control plus N on Windows. So this creates a new file for me. I'll just paste in some questions that I had copied earlier. So these are gift format questions as you can see on the history of Zimbabwe. But there is no highlighting that you see. In my previous video I show you that this is a very intuitive text editor because it shows you with highlighting whether things are correct or not. Right now, this is not showing. It's more like using Notepad on a Windows computer. And if you right click, you don't see Open Preview to the side. So how can we fix this? It is very simple. There are a couple of ways that you can do this. Number one, if you navigate to the bottom right corner, you'll see here where it says Plain Text. If you click on it, you'll get a number of options here. You can search GIFT in the search bar or you can scroll down and click on GIFT. So that should hopefully fix it for you. And as you can see, we now have all that um, syntax highlighting. And if I right click, we can open preview to the side and we can see if our questions are formatted correctly. My computer is a bit slow right now, but hopefully it will show up in a little bit. So this is one way that you can go about it. Oh, and there we, we, we have our preview to the side. And you can see all of our questions are formatted just as they're supposed to be formatted. Let me close the preview to the side. And let me just change this back from GIFT to plain text. So another way that you can fix this is by saving this file in the GIFT format. So normally you will save your GIFT files as a .txt file. But now you can click on File, Save As. And when you save it, you can give it a name that you want. I'll just call it Test2. Then um, I'll change the, the file type from plain text down here. I'll scroll down until I see where it says GIFT. So now you can save your files as .gift files. And when you do so, Visual Studio Code will immediately notice that this is a GIFT file and you get that syntax highlighting and you can be able to right click and open the preview to the side as well. So I hope this will help you as you prepare to teach online in the year 2021. I have been away for a few months because we had been out of school and our university has just recently opened. So hopefully I'll be able to make more tutorials for you. If you have any questions that you will need assistance with, please let me know in the comments below and I'll be able to help you. Remember to like this video and to share it with a lecturer who might benefit from this. Until next time, be blessed my friends.